say, you're nearly ready, Penny. I'm simply gasping for a long, cool drink. You're certainly going at it hammer and tongs in there. I know. All that male energy. Frittered away on a little black ball. <laughs> I say, have you seen the incredible hunk that's on the court right now? Hunk? It's Hector's half hour. I don't need Quilly, silly. His opponent. Oh, those legs. Those shoulders. That rump. I <laughs> should have been a butcher, Davina. Come on. Okay, I am not talking meat. I am talking gorgeous. Hello. 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 Mm. All right, Quilly, stay where you are. I'll call in the stretcher bearers. <laughs> <laughs> Your game didn't last long. Was it close? Captain Quilly's a real sport. <laughs> Who won? This is a silly question. Lieutenant Mr. Weeby, he's champion of his country. Oh. It's a very small country. <laughs> I lost. Nine love. Nine love. Nine one. You were making a comeback towards the end. <laughs> Lieutenant Mr. Weeby played left handed in the final set. <laughs> <laughs> Saunders and asked me this morning to gen up Lieutenant Mr. Weeby on everything I knew about field communications before passing him on to you. Good. Well, in that case, I'll expect him immediately after lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Mr. Weeby's a very fast learner. Pardon me, Captain Quilly, but it's Ma Weeby. Ma Perhaps it would be easy if you called me Augustus. Augustus? Oh, what a noble name. <laughs> yes, well, my, my, uh, Lieutenant um, Augustus, <laughs> how about a spot of tiffin? It's a sausage toad and spotty dick today. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid the cooking in the mess is strongly reminiscent of a minor public school. That's why Hector always clears his plate. <laughs> I think do with a packet of dry roasted peanuts. <laughs> Me too. Uh, tiffin pudding? In a minute. Are you living in the mess? For the rest of the month, I'm afraid. Oh, super. I mean, I live in too, and it's not that awful. There's lots to do at night. <laughs> well, look, Augustus, you're more than welcome to come home for dinner tonight with me. I mean, it won't be anything special, but at least it will be home cooking. That's very kind of you, Penny. You do know... Hi, she... now, phone Russell and alert him. Oh, you have a houseboy? <laughs> description. <laughs> Russell is my husband. Oh, I see. Well, I look forward to meeting Russell. Augustus, I could always warm up a couple of pot noodles in my quarters. <laughs> I don't want to appear ignorant, but what are pot noodles? Uh, best you don't know. I don't, you do seem a little worldly wise to need showing around our backwater like some teenage officer cadet. Mm. Signals is not a backwater. Good communication to the nervous system of any army. Yeah, true, true. Well, that's what they say in training school. <laughs> Besides which, my tribe is rather out of favour back home. Oh, oh yeah, never well, mind. Perhaps your time will come. I'm banking on it. <laughs> Hector, I've been looking for you everywhere. I just had the most peculiar flash. <laughs> you can tell me. I am officer of the day and ranking captain. Who was the bounder? <laughs> I mean, a flash telephone message for Lieutenant Mwabi. Oh, well, sit down and tell Uncle all about it. After all, that's what I'm here for. God alone knows it's boring enough being on duty on a Saturday. Do you know, I've worked one weekend in six for as long as I can remember. The nearest we ever came to a crisis was in the regimental goat peed on the Colonel's Axminster. <laughs> Hector, the Second World War broke out on a weekend, didn't it? Did it? Yes. <laughs> Goes a little before my time. <laughs> Why? As the third started. <laughs> I wish you would tell me. Let's see. Second tank corps ready to take over strategic interceptions. Radio station now in our hands. Falcon paratroop brigade prepared to seize the presidential palace. It... Crunch! It's a <laughs> Hector! I've got to the Prime Minister! Hector! No. England doesn't have a presidential palace, Hector. Don't, don't split hairs, woman. We can't have the elected government in this country overthrown. It's not as if it's Labour. <laughs> it's not this country, Hector. The caller was a compatriot of Augustus's. 
How blatant can you get? Of course, he may have thought I was Captain Milburn, not knowing we work shifts. She could be in on it. Yes. The way she spitted him off yesterday. And he didn't come back to camp last night, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Look, we can't get a, let them get away with this. I mean, we, we have friend relationships with or 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 <laughs> Lieutenant Mr. Weeby's country. <laughs> I mean, they have pots of uranium, you know. That's what I thought. Our flash special investigation branch. No. No, don't do that, Daffy. We'll deal with this in our own way. Gosh. There could be gongs in this for us. Good egg. <laughs> Dear sir, military medal, VC. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Have you ever been to Buckingham Palace? Hmm? There's someone else with him. A fellow conspirator. Oh, isn't that Penny's husband? Huh? That's Russell Melbourne. The plot thickens. They're coming, they're coming, coming. Right, sit down, sit down, sit down. Keep calm. Oh, gosh. Oh, bed, sorry. No, sorry. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Of course, it is possible they won't come to his room at all, you know. Damn. I never thought of that. I'll just um, slip on some after, then we'll join Penny, and then we will... Uh, Hello, Hector. What brings you here? Another game of squash? Oh, Frank! Frank, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Help! 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 All right! M M M Mr. Weeby, I want some answers from you. Hector, what are you playing at? Uh, you haven't taken a phone call from me this morning, have you? Uh-huh. Oh, thank God, huh? yes. Right. Right, Daffy. Uh, Captain Mulholland. You cut along the comms end and flash the spike at us. Right-o. That sounds like fun. I think I'll come with you. Yes, there we go, man! I'm not satisfied! You're entirely unaware. Mm. Oh, right, Hector. Davina's just told me all about your latest little fantasy. Captain Mulholland! I had to. She shouted at me. <laughs> Even by your standards, Hector, you're going to look very stupid at the court-martial. Do you mind... Would you put that toy away? This plot, Hector, is simply one of the new Sandhurst training exercises. Oh, Augustus, you told me it was our secret. I thought it was. As soon as Davina owned up, it clicked. If you spent more time reading M.O.D. circulars and less time with G.I. Joe comics... Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I know, you're not just trying to confuse me. Because if I want to confuse you, Hector, I don't have to try. <laughs> Quite. No. Oh, all right, all right, I believe you. Told you nothing exciting ever happens on a Saturday. Oh, uh, actually, you can put the gun down now. No, it's all right, it's not loaded. The armourer wouldn't give me any bullets without a note from Sir. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Cupcake. Oh. You know, darling, you really should have told me about Augustus's little exercise. Look at all the chaos you've caused. It wasn't my fault, it was Hector. He's a natural disaster looking for a place to happen. Russell. Oh, you really must let me pay for the next round, Hector. No, 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 no you are my guests. <laughs> After all, when you've held three innocent people at gunpoint, the least you can do is buy them a drink afterwards. <laughs> uh, are you sure you won't have another old chap, just to show there's no hard feelings? No, no, thank you. I'm taking Augustus out to lunch. After all, I did sort of precipitate this crisis. Oh, no, 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 don't take all the credit away from Hector, Davina. You merely misinterpreted Augustus's message. To turn it into an international incident requires Hector's very special talent. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Russell. If you're ever in my country, you must visit my lodge. Lodge? And thank you, Penny, for all your hospitality. you always be welcome in my country. Okay. Bye, old thing. <laughs> Bye, Davina. Bye. My country.